Welcome back to Sunshine Teachers Training YouTube channel and we are continuing our language journey. This week we're going to be talking about the Montessori Blue series. Now in previous videos I have discussed about the Pink series with an introduction to language. I'm going to link that video in the description below so if you missed it you can watch it. It's a prelude to this and it'll help you to understand how to carry out the Blue series in the classroom or at home with your children. In format the Blue series follows the Pink series almost to a T. The materials are pretty much the same, it's just that the contents are different, the words we are teaching now are different. The Blue series is still completely phonetic, we are not introducing them to any words that do not follow the phonic sound that we learnt at the very beginning. We have the object boxes, we have the picture boxes, we have the picture cards again, we have the word lists, we have the sight words, we have the mystery box, we have the attached sentences, the detached sentences and the storybook. So I'd like you to watch the Pink series so that you can, the Pink series video, so that you can uh, get more insight into that. Now the difference is that the words here are longer and we are introducing blends. We can have blends that come at the beginning of a word. These we call initial blends. For example, ST at the beginning of the word would be stand or step or stem, stuck. So we have the blend at the beginning of the word. Um, everything following, everything within the word is still phonetic. I cannot have a word like store, S-T-O-R-E, because it goes against the rules, the same rules apply that we talked about in the Pink series. I'll recap that for you in a minute. Store has vowel plus R and also a vowel at the end, so it's non-phonetic, okay? We can have a blend at the end of a word, for example, ST at the end of a word, pest, must, list. Those are all phonetic words and the blend is at the end of the word. You can also have blends in the middle of a word. We call that a median blend. Uh, these are words like bucket, magnet, uh, button. Those are median blends that come in the middle. Of course you have combinations, words like stuck, words like black, where you have uh, you know, a blend at the beginning, you have a blend at the end. Sometimes you have a blend at the beginning and the middle. It really like, um, you know, it really doesn't matter as long as the word is phonetic. Now I'm recapping the exceptions to the rule again for you because these are really important to keep in mind. Words that have vowel plus R, non-phonetic. So you cannot have, uh, you know, words like slur because it has a vowel plus R. Um, words with vowel plus Y, non-phonetic. So you cannot have words like stay, you cannot have fray, you cannot have play because the PL is phonetic but the AY is not. Uh, you cannot have vowel plus W, so you cannot have words like flow or clown or grow. Now why is it so? If you listen to the sound, okay, uh, for example the word grow, the O sound is made as O, whereas when we learn it in the phonics it is O, so it's different. Basically, you have to keep in mind that whatever sounds there are in our phonic song, they must match whatever we are teaching. If you're ever in doubt, just say the word allow, aloud and um, you will find that the, the confusion often lies with the vowel sound. So say that and see if it is matching to the same vowel sounds that we learn in the phonic song. Okay, so those are the exception to the rule. Now for us to limit it, you know, in the Pink series we said it's two or three letter words. There's no limit on the letters. It can be anything. 
In the pink series, we had specific boxes for vowel, middle vowel A, middle vowel E, middle vowel O, and so on. In the blue series, it's not like that. They're just mixed. Our word lists are also mixed. It can be anything. They follow the same. It's one picture with many words below. And you can have a combination of beginning, blend, ending, blend, middle, blend. We're not, you know, restricting the children to just one type of a word. You have to understand that our children are quite fluent by now. They have become quite confident through the pink series and the blue series flows a little bit faster. It's easier for them. Of course, they are older, so there is the added maturity that helps them too. In our um, pink series uh, sight words, we only teach the and a. Uh. However, when you come to the blue series, you can change that. You can decide what kind of um, sight words you would wish to use. Uh, you could decide that I want to teach he and she or I want to teach they and them. It can keep changing throughout the time in school. When you feel children have mastered two, you can introduce two more. They will be learning words at such a fast pace you'll be amazed. It's like a language explosion, Maria Montessori called it. So you can continue to feed this interest of theirs and help develop their language skills. So once you as a uh, teacher have mastered how to carry out the pink series, then doing the blue series with the children will come very easily to you. If you do have difficulties, don't fret, leave your comments in the box below and I will come back and help you because I want you to feel empowered in teaching these activities to your children. Stay tuned, subscribe to the channel and push that bell because I will be back with more language activities. We still have to explore early grammar and the green series. I look forward to seeing you again and until we meet, have a beautiful day.